Rabbits are called this pygmy is a rabbits demonstration because they're the smallest lagomorphs that we have in North America. Adults weigh less than a pound. Pygmy rabbits are endangered. They're federally listed as endangered in the state of Washington, uh, mostly due to habitat destruction and predation. So this captive breeding facility, we're hoping to get their numbers up. Most of the pygmy rabbits are really shy. They spend a lot of time hiding out in their this nest boxes and in their burrows. This is a demonstration of flip for Mac. Uh, luckily, I've been doing this for four years, so I've gotten a little more accustomed to the rabbits and they're a little bit. Pygmy rabbits are North American rabbits. It is one of the only two rabbit species in America to date its own marrow. It is one of the smallest laboratories that weighs to 398 to 462 grams, which is equal to 0.88 to 1.02 pounds, which is really tiny for a rabbit. They can be as long as 23.5 to 29.5 centimeters, which is about 9.2 to 11.6 inches. Female pygmy rabbits are usually larger than the male. You can distinguish the pygmy rabbit from other laboratories by the size of their short ears. Their ears are 57 to 64 centimeters long, which is about 2 and 1 fourth to 2 and a half inches, which are also very small compared to rabbit ears. You can also tell them away because not only are their color is like all the other rabbits, they have a great color and other rabbits usually don't. And they have small hind legs and lack of white fur on their tails. And also they have a pale buff marking on the trailing of the Even though the pygmy rabbit is much smaller than a rabbit and the hare, they are classified with the rabbits and the hare are right between the middle. They do have some similar characteristics that the rabbit and the hare also. Pygmy rabbits are generally limited to areas on deep soil with tall and sage bush, which they use for cover and food. Individual sagebush plants in areas inhabited by pygmy rabbits are 6 feet to 1.8 meters or more in height. Thin strands of sagebush along streams, roads, and bridge grounds provide disposable corridors for pygmy rabbits. The pygmy rabbit is the only native rabbit that they bear. They use their grounds for the wind for thermal cover and are used in The pygmy rabbit range historically in these following states, California, Oregon, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Washington. The pygmy rabbit usually doesn't interact with other organisms or basically their cells. They have to be able to move fast and get away from all the predators. They have to use their sage book as a source of food. They also use the bush in order for them to survive. Weasels are the principal predators, followed by the coyotes, foxes, owls, and hawks. The pygmy rabbit is the pygmy rabbit is the badger with the black tail and white tail hair. The blue tails, cotton tails, and California. There is no information on the spectrum in which. It is assumed that browns on the nest site, Photo chambers of nesting materials have been found. Mating occurs late February to early May. After a 27 to 30 day gestation period, the young are born from March to early August. Leader size. Averages 6 to 3 liters per year have been reported in Idaho. The young are our solution, more tilly and high in the late winter and early spring. Since our inhabitants to, the, to them are habitat loss and fragments caused by conversion of sagebrush rangeland to agriculture development, including oil bath production and wildfire frequencies in some areas. The carbon predators include the weasels, coyotes, badgers. Bobcats, raptors, owls, crows, ravens, and foxes have all been put in the danger. They have been put in some of the pygmy rabbits in the Oregon Zoo and also some in other natural habitats so that they can reproduce and not be dangerous anymore. On March 5, 2003, the Columbia Basin District population segment of pygmy rabbits was listed as endangered in the state of Washington. In the world today, there are only about four need pygmy rabbits left. The Oregon Zoo is trying to do all they can to keep them alive. The studies show that if they keep decreasing, sooner or later there will be no pygmy rabbits.